guys and welcome to my 11 weeks pregnancy update. This is going to be a really quick little update for today. So let's talk about some of the symptoms and stuff that's been going on this week. If you are not already a subscriber, I would totally recommend that you hit that subscribe button so that you can follow me along this journey with baby number three. So let's hop in. So a really weird thing happened this week where I had one day where I had a really big wave of nausea out of nowhere. Like the morning sickness was back, but it was only like once like in the middle of breakfast and it wasn't like I was eating anything new or different or anything and I didn't happen anytime after that it was just one day this week it was the beginning of the week and I just felt like the morning sickness was back and it was totally weird and I haven't had any symptoms like that since so I don't know what that was about the morning sickness has been gone for a couple of weeks now so it was just a really strange little thing that happened the big thing that has been happening this week are migraines. I've been having headaches almost every single freaking day this week, like terrible, nothing fixes it. I have to lay down in a dark room with a warm washcloth over my head and just like be in silence and be away from everything and probably take a nap. That's like the only thing that will help fix some of these migraines is napping because the medication you're allowed to take during pregnancy sucks and doesn't do anything anyway. I've tried like drinking, you know, tea, like get some caffeine in there too. Like nothing has been working and it's been super duper terrible. I've been pretty lucky. I usually get my migraines more toward the afternoons. So like usually like if it's really bad, my husband is like home or on his way home so I can like come up here and just like be away from the children. So that's been okay, I guess, but yeah. It's been insane that I have had one, like I said, almost every single day and it's just terrible. It's been super, super bad. That's been, I don't want to call it like the highlight of the week, but that's definitely the number one symptom thing that's been happening this week is headaches, migraines, and like terrible, just like wanting, <laughs> just wanting them to go away. I am still so tired. The fatigue is still in full force. I can't wait until the day that it finally disappears. I want to take a nap all the time. I always feel so tired. It's still, I don't think it's improved at all. I feel just as tired as I did a couple weeks ago and a couple weeks before that. So fatigue is intense still. I have been looking back on my pregnancy updates from my first two kids and this week is about when I started feeling better in the tiredness department with both of the boys. And so I'm really hoping that it's, it's coming soon. <laughs> so I had my first scary dream of the pregnancy this week. It wasn't like a super scary like nightmare, but it was just, I woke up with a very creepy, scary kind of feeling in the middle of the night. And I haven't had any scary dreams so far. That was the first one of the pregnancy. And I don't have like a lot of scary dreams anyway in my regular life, but I know that I do tend to have a couple of them during pregnancy, so I finally got my first one of those. I've also had a couple dreams that I've been smoking, which is a thing that I, a dream that I had with both of the boys, and from what I like read when I was pregnant with my first son is like when you dream about like smoking and drinking and stuff like that, it means it's gonna be a boy because those are like manly activities or whatever, and so I had another dream of smoking, and so now I'm like, is that a sign? <laughs> is baby a boy? <laughs> so I did have one, like a day and a half where I felt like sciatic nerve pain, like down, you know, like down your lower back, down your butt and like down your leg. Like it was like super annoying and I had to do a bunch of like stretches and like just kind of sitting weird and laying weird like around bedtime and stuff to try to make it feel a little bit better. And that's something that I associate more with like the end of pregnancy because your uterus is like pushing on certain things and like everything's all messed up, you know, and everything's really heavy and blah. Not something that I expected to have in a week 11, right? So that was kind of weird. I hope that does not persist because that is one of the most annoying things about the end of pregnancy that I've experienced with my two first pregnancies. So I just really hope that that's not like something that's going to happen all the time until the end because that's going to be bad. <laughs> And even though I have had a ton of headaches this week and everything has just been kind of blah, I've still been super duper tired, I did get a little activity done. I made some crib railing covers. I sewed them up and everything. I was so proud of myself and it's super adorable looking. You can see them on my Instagram if you guys 
follow me on Instagram. Uh, I do always have a link down below if you're interested. I post pictures of the boys and of the family and of my belly and like all that fun stuff. So in my weekly uh, pregnancy update pictures, you can see the crib and the crib railing is all like set up and everything, the little crib railing covers. And they're super cute. And I was really, really proud of myself because I am not like super big on sewing projects. And so for me to be able to like do this whole project all by myself and like nothing really went wrong, <laughs> it was okay. I was like really proud of myself and super happy. I only It only took me like three hours or something one afternoon and it was like super duper nice. So I'm very happy with how they turned out. So that's one little baby project that I actually got to complete, which I think is like the first baby project that I've done. Uh, so yeah, that's that was exciting. <laughs> So that's it for today's little update. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if there are other video topics you guys want me to talk about in the future, whether it's pregnancy related or mommy or whatever it is. Let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. I almost forgot. I need to show you guys the belly. So here is the 11 weeks pregnant belly. I do have on maternity um like leggings and these are kind of like i need some more belly to like fill them out a little bit more so they're not exactly like super smooth down here um so they don't look like super smooth and rounded on my belly but yeah totally into the maternity shirts maternity bottoms i'm pretty much really giving in to the maternity clothes lately mm -hmm.